arrested 60-year-old Pamela Ferreira of Watsonville, accused of dumping her newborn son on the side of Garen Road in the Las Lomas area of Monterey County 30 years ago. The baby was stuffed in a grocery bag and believed to have been there for several weeks. A man collecting aluminum cans made the gruesome discovery. He opened up that paper bag and discovered something that nobody ever wants to find. When the person looked inside, they discovered a deceased baby boy's body. The newborn was called Baby Garen after the road he was found near. Baby Garen was born alive, according to investigators, but an autopsy could not reveal the cause of death. If you ask any law enforcement professional, they will tell you that the hardest case to investigate is any involving crimes against children. These are emotional cases that one does not easily, if ever, forget. For three decades, the case went unsolved, but it was reopened last year, and thanks to advances in DNA technology, a company that specializes in DNA identification gave investigators the lead they needed. Solved by DNA was able to provide investigative leads on who the family of this baby Garen, of our baby Garen, could be. Monterey County District Attorney's Office Cold Case Task Force detectives were then able to conduct follow-up interviews and obtain DNA samples, which ultimately led to the identification of baby Garen's mother. Pamela Ferreira was arrested early Thursday morning at her Watsonville home without incident. She works as an in-home health care provider, according to her Facebook page. Ferreira, for three decades, likely wondering whether she had escaped justice. Some of them seem to think that they have gotten away with it and are very surprised. Some of them do have been waiting for that knock on the door for decades. I couldn't tell you which situation this falls under, but we're, we're happy that this day has come and that we're able to do something about this situation that happened 30 years ago. Pamela Ferreira is being held on a $1 million bail hold. She's expected to be arraigned uh, tomorrow on one count of murder in a Salinas courtroom. Reporting from outside the uh, Monterey County Jail, I'm Felix Cortez. Aaron, back to you in the studio. Felix, thank you.